software engineer Rotimi Akinru now joins us in the studio for more. Thank you very much for joining us, uh, uh, Akinru. The computer science work, why is it so important to focus on computer science? Well, we know that uh, computer science in the 21st century is a pivot around which every other industry actually revolves. So just imagine a world where there is no computer science as we speak. Uh, the, the, what we'll be doing in the next 50, 100, 200 years will be computer based. So there is need for us to actually bring these students up, build the next generation of computer science scientists that will power the whole entire industry, that will power the whole economy of Africa and, and the rest of the world. Uh, so that's the reason you're trying to catch them young? From yes, we just need to catch age. them young to bring them from nursery one to, uh, to uh, the elementary science, uh, elementary uh, classes to the university levels and all across the education uh, grades. Right, so but then are people really aware of this initiative? Yeah, it's a global thing. It's a global movement. Uh, it was actually uh, it's kick start, uh, started around the US and uh, over three, four, five years back now, it's been, these days has been set, I mean the week has been set aside for this uh, uh, kind of uh, program all where right. we, that is actually dedicated to teaching computer science to propagate this uh, idea. Okay, that's quite interesting. But we know that in uh, a nation like ours, Nigeria, where uh, maybe internet isn't what it is in some other part of the world, do you consider that it would be really easy for these people, these young ones who are trying to get to, mm. I mean, catch up as fast as they should? Yes. There is no difference between Nigerian child or an African child and the rest of the and children. not exactly the child, but the environment in which the child lives. The environment has no impact on the African child uh, when it comes to learning computers, computer science. The only concern I have is about the policy implementation of the country. As we speak now, it is a very great aberration when it comes to this teaching of computer science. When you have in our syllabus, in the school curriculum, from KG1 to primary four, a child will not be able to power on a computer set. Mm -hmm. it's, the child has to get to primary five. If, we are to, if a school is to follow the school curriculum to the letter, yeah. so a child will have to get to primary five before they can actually power up a computer. That child will definitely be at the age of say 10 or thereabout. Now, at the age of 10, uh, 10 Mark Zuckerberg that founded Facebook, uh, and the rest of all these tech industry or tech companies actually have started learning programming. Mm. My organization teaches programming in, co in colleges, in uh, secondary schools and all that. Mm. So it is bad to find out that at SS123, uh, data science, which is, which is the only computer-based uh, uh, course, is yeah. made optional. Mm. So because of this problem, uh, the schools, uh, because of the uh, power sources and how to power this uh, the teaching of the cl of these uh, classes, it yes. actually bring out uh, a big, huge problem because they will not be teaching this course since it is optional. So you would like the government to look I into this? We, there is need for policymakers to look back into this and re-strategize on all these policies all right to actually then. bring us back on track. If we need to uh, power our economy, we want to diversify, we want to power every other part segment of the economy, then there is need for us to actually embrace computer science the more. Okay, Akinduro, thank you very much for being on the program. Uh, okay. On the news, I've been speaking with Akinduro Rotimi, a software engineer. Thank you very much for your thank time. Thank you very much, Ma. Thank you.